Hey there, Capricorn. We are taking a look at what your person is thinking and feeling about you at this time. When you happen to watch this video is when it is meant to be seen by you. So this is a timeless reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you though, so take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone else. So let's see what this person is thinking and feeling about you at this time, Capricorn. What is going on with this person? What messages are coming through for this person? This is the Hidden Truth Oracle. We'll pull three of these and then we'll get into the tarot. What is this person thinking and feeling? What is What messages need to come through? Thank you, Spirit. I'm so attracted to you. You turn them on, Capricorn. I couldn't let you get close to me. So some of them are hiding a bit here, not completely being open in some way in your connection. If you guys are in separation at this time, I think that um, for many of you, the they felt they they not felt this kind of connection with anyone else before and so they're trying to come to terms with what it is and it scares them a little bit okay it says we will be together again and i wonder if you are happy without me okay so if you guys most of you who are watching this will be in separation at this time um but they know that there's a, a significant connection between the two of you that they can't deny um, it really kind of like opened them up to feelings that they haven't experienced in a very long time and it scares them Capricorn okay so let's see what the tarot has to say what does this person think and feel about Capricorn here spirit you got it going on Capricorn you've got the right clothing the right style the right personality the way you carry yourself there's something about you your swagger that they are impressed by the way you talk uh, there's just the way that you are is what I'm picking up here um, just really turns them on <laughs> there's physical attributes about you that they really like as well I mean it will be different for everyone but it's it's something like not it's something very that you wouldn't think of like as being like sexual so it's like they're looking at your forearms or they're looking at your um your hands or something like that that they or like your calves or something like that that they're really <laughs> they like to look at so that's a message i'm picking up here um they just think that you have a nice body <laughs> all the way around um, and that you have really good style i'm picking up a really big style message here um, like your choice of clothing, your choice of um, the way you like, <laughs> they like that you take effort in making your appearance look good, <clears throat> like that you make sure your clothes are pressed or that you um, take that extra effort to make sure that things are looking sharp or that you, um, that you <laughs> have good choice of style. It's like you're, you're really able to piece together things really nicely like it's well thought out and not just like thrown together that's what they like about you Capricorn is that you're able to um, kind of like not be out of style that you can like evolve with style the chariot so they feel like things are moving really quickly in the right direction with your connection they feel like it's a very positive movement Okay, um, three of wands. They feel like um, that what you guys, what they've been waiting for is finally coming to them, okay? They've had big wishes about the type of connection or the type of relationship that they want in their life and they feel like you're an answer to that. Okay, uh, the hermit card just came out. So I do feel like for some of you, they're fe they feel like you pull away too much 
me pick up this card here. That you may spend a lot of time alone. Um, that you have, have to have your alone time or that you go into isolation or that you pull away. Perhaps they feel like um, that you need a lot of time in solitude. Um, they also feel like maybe you think a lot or you look like you're contemplating things or thinking through things. And so they know that you're in your own kind of like world Capricorn and trying to figure things out on your own much of the time. Um, they wonder what you're, what you're thinking about in your head sometimes. Um, but they know that you have some things that you're working through and, um, you know, they're not like, they're not like threatened by what it is that you're thinking about or anything like that. It's just like they wonder, wonder what's going on in there sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, they feel like you, you do okay on your own and that maybe you need more alone time than what they would have expected otherwise. So we have the death card and we have the eight of wands. Um, so for some of you, you had a death in your, someone in your family or a, a death of someone or an ending of some kind, even in a relationship that hasn't been dealt with, um, that needs to be talked about. Um, there's a lot of messages having to do with that. They feel like that maybe um, there's a need to really open up and talk to each other about even things in the relationship as well. It doesn't have to be necessarily a death that somebody's experienced of a loved one, but that's one message that's coming through here really heavily. Um, but for whatever reason, it could also mean that like something came to an end um, that that as need to, needing to be talked about or dealt with. Communication is needing to come forward in relation to whatever has ended here in your life. Um, like if you had a, a relationship that came to an end, um, that you're, that you still haven't like dealt with the pain of that connection, the ending of that connection even as well. Um, they just feel like that maybe there's an opportunity for you to open up a bit more. <clears throat> if you guys are not like in separation from each other, you may not be like emotionally connecting with, with one another. Like you feel like you're, you guys are on two different, in two different worlds at this time. So I feel like there, <clears throat> I do feel like there's some positive energy movement forward, but there is a little bit of them recognizing there's something about you that that may need to be healed in this connection that you maybe not are not communicating about look at that wheel of fortune <clears throat> they feel like you that you two are a great a great um couple on the path towards success with each other uh they they do feel like you are you're like <laughs> That you, they've struck gold with you, basically. Um, not necessarily material, materially, just that they feel very happy, alive, and um, lucky to have you in their life. They feel like this is really a gift from the universe, um, this connection that they have with you. They feel like that you two are, have great potential to be very successful together um, as a couple. So yeah, there's a lot of positive vibe here between the two of you that I'm picking up here. Um, there's just maybe this need to communicate a bit more or open up a bit more with each other. What else, Spirit? The Emperor. So someone here in this connection, and it could be an Aries, it doesn't have to be, but we also have Cancer, we have Virgo, we have Scorpio, all major arcana here, um, mostly. <laughs> the Chariot, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, and the Emperor. Um, and it doesn't have to be one of those signs that you're dealing with, but someone here in the connection feels like, um, feels like you're a little bit controlling about how, how you want things to be, okay? There's this impression here of somebody being more in control than the other person is, okay? Um, so there may be a bit of an imbalance there where someone feels like 
they are more of a follower than a leader in, in the connection and less like a partnership moving together towards a goal. Um, but if you're in separation at this time, they feel like, um, they feel like <clears throat> that maybe you were a little bit too controlling or, um, yeah, they, they feel that maybe you're a little bit too controlling in the connection. That's, that's a message that's not going to resonate with, with every single person. Um, but, you know, take, take it how it resonates in your specific connection. Um, and this is your person's perception. It doesn't have to necessarily mean the truth. It just, you know, we all have our different perceptions of how things are, or whether they're true or not. Um, <clears throat> but they do feel like, you know, that you may be pulling away this time. Um, that they, they know it's only a matter of time before things will come back around with you. Um, so it's not that they're really worried when you go and isolate yourself. Um, but they, they do feel a little bit, um, they do feel a little bit like it's hard for them to open up to you. Um, they're afraid, a little bit afraid of like what your reaction will be. Um, if they completely tell you how they feel sometimes. So I know that there's maybe on both sides, a little bit of a hesit hesitancy to want to communicate with each other. Um, verbally and what's going on in your connection. Um, but overall, there's a very positive feeling that you get from this person. You know, they, you may have things that you need to deal with on your own, um, or they may have things that they need to deal with on their own that you guys, you know, kind of maybe wonder about each other, dealing with things by yourselves, like what's actually going on. Um, but overall, there's there's a lot of positive um, connection between the two of you where there's not a lot of anxiety or worry about the other person. Uh, you feel overall very, very positive that things, and hopeful, hopeful that things will come back together in, <clears throat> in a way that's very positive. And so it's like you hold each other in a very high regard here. Um, but there was some, some kind of ending um, that is needing to be dealt with in this connection, well, you know, and every, everyone's situation will be different here for what that actually is, Capricorn. So, um, I do feel like this is a very solid connection. Uh, there's a good, like, balancing of energies in, in your connection here. Um, th but again, somebody feels like one person is more in control of the connection than the other. And there's a feeling here that someone pulls away too much um, and needs to maybe open up and communicate <laughs> with someone. If not with each other, with a therapist maybe even as well. Um, but you know, this relationship, it may have taken off really quickly, um, you know, in the beginning and then things may have like slowed down a bit. It may go in like cycles where um, things move forward really quickly right at the beginning and then it's a couple of years before you experience you know movement again um, but it definitely feels like you're in a phase of your relationship where things are going to start moving there's going to be a shift in the connection um, in terms of uncovering some of these see, some of these issues that maybe have been tried to be put, put aside or not dealt with. Um, so I do feel like, you know, with you wanting to seek each other's understanding of what the other person feels, um, it may spur a discussion between the two of you so you can open up with each other and, and come to some kind of understanding between the two of you. And, you know, really talking it out um, really does help release some of the negative energy that you may feel like you're on a loop about. This person is really here as your partner to, to help you through it. Um, I feel like if they are pulling away from you a bit, it's because they don't want to get hurt because they may feel you pull away initially and you may not have the perception that you're pulling away. Um, you may just go quiet and need time to meditate and go into solitude. Um, but this person is left sometimes a little bit confused about 
what's going on with you and they're sensing that maybe there needs to be some communication come forward about it um, and they also um, that could be a great opportunity to really understand who in this connection is feeling like they're being controlled <laughs> okay so take it how it resonates for you if it resonated for you guys please hit that like button i really appreciate it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one take care